Hello Internet, I'm Farrell, and here is this week's Space Engineers Update Parody for November 9th, 2017. This week, Keen continued to fly the flag for everyone loving the next major update. Or, shall we say, MEGA UPDATE, given the amount of hype being cast about for it. Despite the fact that, so far, the only thing we know for sure about that update is that it has a high potential of breaking a good number of mods in the game, and breaking mod developers from their fan base, continually asking the question of, when will this be fixed? Meanwhile, we wait with bated breath to see just what kind of changes are being made, because to be honest, it's starting to feel a little bit overhyped. I mean, I just really kind of hope that this isn't hype for an upcoming Santa Claus skin announcement. Or a reindeer. Oh god, please no Rudolph the Red-Nosed Space Engineer. At least not unless you're making the Space Brewing mod part of the game. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that nothing has really been planned for the biggest problem of what will be induced by this major update, assuming the mod API programming block and script modifications are put in place, that once again it's the problem of what to do about the unupdated mods. With no sort of version dependencies, notifications, or ability to blacklist or make it easier to find updated versions of mod scripts, the entire player base is going to be thrown back into the Dark Ages with this update. Yay, looking forward to that. Now to be fair to Keen, some of this may just be limitations of what one can do in the Steam Workshop, but now is the time to communicate things like this to the player base. Don't wait until the Cyberhounds are blowing up your doors to explain why things can't be the way we want them to be. Communicate. But that's enough about worrying about what we can't prevent breaking or fix ourselves, and move on to something positive that came out of this week's update, Blueprint Sorting. I'm sure many of you would agree that this kind of feature has been long overdue, so the devs get a kudos from me on that feature. Keen also had another post-update bug fix that handled some more game crashing issues that, for once, weren't trying to blame the plane parts mod, interestingly enough. Too late for Halloween, wolves can now properly inflict bloody carnage when grinded, and once again you can now hear the bullet that... Hang on. Didn't that already get patched? And the last time I said that... Whew. For a second there I was worried that Red Feral guy was going to... Oh, if you think I'm sitting on a major update, then I'm afraid you're dearly and deadly mistaken. Release the Cyberhounds, Keen. Do it. 